Alan Becker just released animation versus geometry, and this math nerd is going to explain the math in this video. That's a circle, or a point, I'm not too sure. Okay, so that's a stick man from the from his all of these all of the uh, different animations he've made. You extend a point. You can create a line segment using two points. All right, that's a key idea there. I believe this video is going to be about Euclidean geometry, and perhaps others. Who knows? So we start from a point. That's the point A, and we call that the point B. Standard geometry notation right here. Okay, so you draw a point C and it goes downwards. I believe it's perpendicular, but I'm not too sure. Not yet. Okay, so he's taking a point and he's pointing in any direction. This is one of the Euclidean axioms. Uh, this is the vertically opposite angles theorem. Well, the vertically opposite angles are equal. All right angles are equal to each other. This is one of the um, theorems. Adjacent angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees as well. This is proportions. So we have a proportion of two line segments, which is pretty interesting. I'm not sure what that was. A to B is 3 to 1. Some of these results are theorems. Some of them are the postulates. I need to uh, explain those in a different video if you're interested. Okay, what on earth just happened? This is the golden ratio. There's a very special derivation. It's 1 plus root 5 all over 2. It's denoted by the symbol phi. And missed the root 3 over there, but oops, I, I should have uh, paid more attention there. Okay, 90 degrees. So it looks like phi is going to be the central player in this video. In the other video, the Euler identity was the same layer, but this is fine in this context. It's 60 degrees, so we should get an equilateral triangle slash special angles involved in all of this. In geometry, we also include trigonometry and Pythagoras theorem. Okay, something about phi is generating a rectangle, and that's a 90 degree rotation, that's a reflection. I forgot what that is. Now you have a parallelogram and a square. These are going really, really fast here. There's a square, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, and as you get more and more sides, it starts to approach a circle, at least geometrically. This is the um, angles in a semicircle. It's right angles. It's 90 degrees. It's going really fast, so please pardon me here. This is my first time watching this video, so you're getting it flat. That's a square. Perhaps the golden square, I'm not too sure. Okay, this is the famous Pythagoras Theorem. I've got a whole video on this. Ouch, what the heck just happened there? That was a rotation for sure. The squares. Oh, what? Oh, what? Whoa, okay, so if Pythagoras theorem works with that particular result, you do get the equation that describes phi. Oh no, that could be a problem. This sounds like Marvel's Mario boss music. I have no idea what this object is. It feels like a tesseract or like a hyperdimensional cube of some kind. I'm not too sure what the dimensions are in this context. We're shooting a bunch of things, probably some reflections. He's trying to protect the golden vision, which is rather surprising. I thought he was fight by the end of video. This is the um, continued faction representation of Phi. A bunch of numbers which I think has meanings, but it was too fast for me to interpret at the moment. running and okay this is the Fibonacci spiral I believe I forgot what the name is but the proportions are in that of the golden ratio but 
this hypercube is still eating up the universe as we know it. Okay, Golden, Golden will just like follow me. I have no idea what the simple what are the implications of these angles. This could be a problem. That's a 360 degrees in an ang in a in a in a angle on a point. That was the angle at a semicircle property. The semicircle angle is twice that at the center. It is going really fast for me, so pardon me. There was a rhombus there, I believe. A golden rhombus, arguably. Okay, golden pentagons. I low-key think that the hyper-dimensional object is some kind of uh, oiler circle or something. Alright, no, the golden ratios are breaking, they're fighting, destroying one another. This could be a problem. I'm just trying to analyze the math here, guys. That's a cube, and a circle in a cube, a point in a cube. I think that's the secret formula to defeating this golden cube. Oh! Here we go! Are we containing it? Okay, in a tetrahedron. Perhaps it's because it's three dimensional? I do not know what the dimensions are, but it is what it is. This is an icosahedron, so we're going into the platonic solids right here. I think that's pretty cool. Maybe that object is a compound of the photonic solids. That might be the case because what we see here in the center is a cube. Okay. A cube. There are only five photonic solids. Fun fact, guys. Wow. A bunch of golden rectangles. The ratio of the rectangles gives you the golden ratio. Bunch of rotations, you get the 3D axes, and I believe we're drawing a dodecahedron. I'm not too sure what the name is, but I think that's a dodecahedron. Whoa. I'm not too sure, but by the way, I'm not too sure about that. It should be a dodecahedron. What is that? I'm not gonna lie, I've not seen this particular this particular object. Oh. I'm not very familiar with the, with the platonic solids. Now we have the Coke Snow no, the Dragon Curve. This is the Dragon Curve, the fractal. Yeah. And we have the the I forgot what this is called. This there is a name to all of this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, who we have here? What the heck is that? Feels like a trippy fever dream, if you ask me. If you want to find animation versus complex numbers, click on the video appearing on the screen.